today is Shivaratri, the Hindu festival which is celebrated once a year in honor of Lord Shiva. Devotees have been thronging Shiva temples across the country today with a Pashupati Nath temple since early morning. The Pashupati Area Development Trust says around 1 million devotees are expected to reach Pashupati Nath temple today and around 8,000 security personnel and 5,000 volunteers have been deployed at their temple premises. Good morning, I am Bipash Nathamang and these are the headlines of the hour. At Shivaratri today, devotees thronging Shiva temples throughout the country including the Pashupati Nath temple since early morning to worship Lord Shiva. The government commits never to allow the use of Nepali territory against its friendly nations. The cabinet decides to remain committed to having cordial relations with all countries. The first round of Ukraine-Russia talks aimed at ending the fighting between Moscow and its neighbour concluded with no immediate agreements. And football's world governing body FIFA announces to ban Russia from all international competitions following the invasion of Ukraine. Today is Shivaratri, the Hindu festival, which is celebrated once a year in honor of Lord Shiva. Devotees have been thronging Shiva temples across the country, including the capital's Pashupati Nath temple, from early morning. The Pashupati Area Development Trust says it is operating more than 60 health camps for around 1 million devotees expected to reach Pashupati Nath temple today. The trust says it has made arrangements so that devotees will have to stay in line for only about an hour to reach the temple. According to the Pashupati Area Development Trust, around 4,500 Nepal police personnel and 3,500 armed police personnel have been deployed in the Bhashpati Nath temple premises for their Shivaratri festival today. Meanwhile, around 5,000 devotees, volunteers, including the Nepal Scout, are facilitating the queue of the devotees. Four queues have been arranged from five areas for the devotees. Parking arrangements have been made in places including Sifolchor, Gauri Ghat Corridor and Tilganga Eye Hospital. Around 1 million devotees from Nepal and abroad, along with around 3,500 sages, are expected to reach Pashpati Nath Temple today. To provide us more information regarding the Shivaratri celebrations, we have with us our colleague Prarama Daha live from the Pashupati Nath Temple premises. Good morning, Prarambha. How is the how is the ambience there morning, and Vipashna. how as you mentioned earlier the Okay, uh, how is well, the ambience there and the how ambience, crowded is it? Like you mentioned earlier, the Pashupati Area Development Trust yeah, well, uh, talking about the ambience, uh, as you mentioned earlier, the Pasupati Area Development Trust expects one million devotees at the temple premises uh, today, throughout the day. And that also includes a large number of devotees who have come to Nepal from India, especially for this festival, which holds a lot of significance in our Hindu religion. And to be specific about the ambience, unlike the last couple of two years, which was severely hit by the coronavirus pandemic this year the presence of devotees has been thick people have been coming from all parts of the country and uh, it is very crowded however the crowd has been well managed at the same time there are different cultural and religious groups and they're performing different religious songs at the same time they're dancing and singing different musical instruments are also playing and uh, in, to add to that it's not just about uh, Nepali uh, visitors, Nepali or Indian devotees who've come to Pashupati Nath Temple. We've also seen some foreigners who have made their way to Pashupati Area Development Trust. In fact, the Pashupati Area Temple premises, and it has been quite buzzing since early morning, Bipashna. Okay, so approximately how long do the devotees have to stay in line to reach the temple? And what measures have been taken to ease the flow of the devotees?
well as we were making our way from home to office and then uh, to Pashupati area development uh, and Pashupati area temple premises, the queues were very, very long. In fact, the queue of the gates there, as you mentioned earlier, there are uh, three gates open and uh, from the three gates, there are uh, four queues managed for as of now. Um, but at the same time, despite the length of the queues, um, We've, spoke with, we've spoken with devotees and they've mentioned it has only taken around two hours, a maximum of two hours for them to um, get inside the temple premises, pay a visit, um, and then get back out of the temple area as well. So, so uh, it, is, it is about two hours, or 2.5 hours, not more than that. That is what we are getting from uh, the devotees themselves. So uh, the queues are well managed, a total of, uh, in terms of volunteers, 5,000 volunteers, including the scouts, and from different organizations are also here helping and managing the queue. Um, in addition to that, for elderly and senior citizens, they do not have to stand on the queue, and the volunteers are helping them get straight to the temple, pay a visit to the temple area, and then they are getting to return. In terms of uh, security personnel as well, a, a thick uh, presence of security personnel from Nepal Police and Armed Police Force, they're also helping uh, to, uh, the volunteers to manage the queue. So it has been well managed so far. So far, no untoward incidents, Vipassana. Okay, Praramba, as we know, we are still reeling under coronavirus. What precautionary measures have been adopted regarding coronavirus? Well, in terms of the pandemic, as the cases, as the coronavirus cases and infections are dropping now, and uh, based on that as well, the crowd is huge, and based on the officials' information as well, all the volunteers are adopting and have been direct to, directed to implement all the health and safety guidelines. However, we will still be seeing some of the um, devotees without face masks. Um, however, the volunteers have been provided with sanitizers as well, and we've seen them using them as well. So it has been very professionally managed. Um, in terms of the physical distance, that has not been maintained. Obviously, it's also very difficult to ensure that because of the length of the queue and the number of devotees, which is around, again, one million that the Pasupati Area Development Trust has expected. So uh, for the measures, physical distance has not been ensured. At the same time, some of the volunteers have been using sanitizers, uh, the masks are there, but some of the devotees are also making their way inside the temple without face masks on. So that is uh, what we have from the Paswati area premises as of now, Vivashna. Thank you so much, Praramba. That was our colleague Praramba Dahal live from the capital's Pashupati Nath Temple premises providing us information regarding this Shivaratri celebrations. And moving ahead, the government has said that it is committed to never allowing the use of Nepali territory against its friendly nations, including neighbors China and India. At the cabinet meeting held yesterday, Prime Minister Shah Bahadur Doba presented a proposal with such a commitment. The meeting also expressed its gratitude to all political parties, the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the parliamentarians who assisted in the ratification of the Millennium Challenge Corporation MCC Nepal Compact. With the ratification of the MCC Nepal Compact, the responsibility of its implementation has now fallen on the shoulder of the political parties. Having taken an alternative route for the ratification of the compact to save the coalition, the path ahead for the alliance parties remains to be seen. More in this report. The MCC Nepal Compact, which was registered at the House of Representatives on 15th of July 2019, has finally headed towards its implementation after parliamentary ratification. The American aid program had grown controversial in the past three years and has finally been ratified with an interpretive declaration by Alliance partners Nepali Congress, Sipin Maui Center, Sipin Unified Socialist and Janata Samazwadi Party, amid the silence of main opposition CPN UML. Now, the honest implementation of the grant project has fallen on the soldiers of these parties. Governments led by CPN UML, Nepali Congress and CPN Maui Center in the past 12 years had taken the MCC compact ahead. And the aid program had gained momentum after the signing of the agreement four years ago. However, disputes started surfacing after the compact was registered at the House of Representatives. Despite the ratification of the compact, leaders within the ruling parties remain polarized on the grant. 
the parties may make efforts to form self-serving interpretations of the compact to swing vote banks in their favor. Meanwhile, the take of the United States of America on the interpretive declaration is yet to be understood. In such a situation, only an honest collaboration among the parties will lead to the correct implementation of the compact. Only such implementation and timely completion of the compact will put an end to questions raised on Nepal's seriousness with development projects. CPN Maoist Center Chairperson Pushpa Kamal Dahal has said that ratification of the MCC Nepal Compact has saved Nepal from an accident, but without explaining the nature of the mishap. Dahal has claimed that he had urged the previous government led by KP Sharma Oli to take the MCC compact forward with a resolution motion. He said that Oli, however, was in favor of the ratification of the compact without any changes, adding that the interpretative declaration was prepared after consultations with experts of international law. In regard to the contrasting statements of party leader Naren Kaji Shrestha on the compact, Dahal expressed dissatisfaction at Shrestha airing statements outside the party. Meanwhile, Rashtriya Janamorja party has decided to quit the ruling alliance following the ratification of MCC Nepal Compact. And in our Public Voice segment, we had asked locals in several provinces who plays the biggest role in completing a grand project like MCC on time. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. Neta role iman dar ta kam gano pare. Neta role jan tala pani suchana dinu parsa. Neti to pangti le sahi mukhya bhumi ka khelnu parsa. Sabi samshad aur jani ek tarpi hona parni ho. Time now for our segment. Public pulse. Wait, text us with your opinion. Public pulse. Here's the question: What should be done to provide the general public easy access to health services? Your options: Option A, health infrastructure; Option B, skilled manpower; and Option C, public awareness. The voting is on. Type N E W S. Select your option A, B, or C and send it to three four double zero one to share your opinion with us. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a blissful Shivaratri.